In this tutorial includes printing a line of text, tokens and C, comments, white space and C, and common escape sequence. I'm opening the app coding for C and I'm going to start coding. So our first line start with the hash or pound symbol followed by include. That is preprocessor directives, basically saying that I'm going to use some functions that are defined in stdio.h library. stdio.h is within the angular bracket as shown. The next line of the sample program will be int main. This int main open in class parenthesis is the main functions where the program execution begins this curly brace symbol indicates the body of the function begins so we have stdio.h that is in header file this library contains a function such as the one that i'm using print f okay so that will print something and I'm writing a statement that will mean making a call to print a function. To call a function, you're going to write a name for the functions within parentheses. You must give arguments to print f within double quotes and I want to print hello world. Okay, hello world is within a double quotes. Every statement in C must terminate with a semicolon. It is rule and leaving the statement without the semicolon will cause error during runtime and we'll do that later. Main is defined to return integer. At the end of the main function, statement return a zero, okay, followed by a semicolon, must write for any other function that is defined to return integer. If you would not have an explicit return statement like this, you will get error. But for main functions, even if you will skip writing statement return 0, your program will work. Somehow, it is good to write this for the sake of consistency. In every C program, function is terminated with the right brace. This right brace indicates the end of the function. That is the output of our simple program, print f function display hello world. As I said earlier, semicolon is a rule. So this time, let's check it by taking the semicolon and print f functions and then write. So it result to an error saying error expected before return. Okay, so that means that we have an error before the return as zero. It's because we take the semicolon in the printf function. That is the rule of the semicolon and I will bring it back and then run. Okay, so we have hello world. Next discussion is tokens and C. A C program consists of various tokens and the token is either a keyword, an identifier, a constant, a string, literal, or a symbol. In a statement, print f, open class parenthesis, hello world within a double quotes and then semicolon consists of five tokens. They are print f, the second one is the open parenthesis symbol, the third one is hello world within double quotes and the fourth one is the class parenthesis and the last one is the semicolon. As discussed earlier, each individual statement must be end with a semicolon. This indicate the end of one logical entity. Next is comments. Comments in C indicates a note to your program, somewhat like a helping text in your C program, and they start with slash asterisk followed by a note or a text. And I'm going to write here my first program in C. That's the way the comment begins. Start from slash asterisk and then terminated with the characters asterisk and then slash. Let's check it by clicking run. The output display remained the same, meaning the comments ignored by the compiler and did not recognize it as a function. 
how about if I'm going to take this slash asterisk bot side, then run. Thus resulted in an error saying a known type name my first program in C. Another type of comment in C begins with double back slash and I will write here double back slash and then click run. The output remained the same using the double back slash that served as a comment ignored also by the compiler and did not affect the compiled result hello world. Next lectures is white space in C. A line containing only white space, possibly with a comment, is known as a blank line, and the C compiler totally ignores it. The term white space is the term used in C to describe blanks, tabs, new line characters, and comments. In return zero, white space or the blanks separate one part of a statement from one another, thus enables the compiler to identify where one element and a statement and the next element begins. On the other hand, in the statement, no white space character are necessary between a print f and then open parenthesis and then double quote and then hello and then exclamation point and then double quote and then close parenthesis and then semicolon. Although you are free to include some of it to increase readability. Next is printing another line of text. To start with, I'm going to write again a print f and then the arguments that i will give her is welcome to c to test it click run and let's see the compile result so it display hello world welcome to c in a single line and that is the next thing i will work with next lecture i will introduce some common escape sequence in c in this statement here, I will insert a backlash followed by a character N and let's see what will be the output of this backlash N. To test it, just click run and the compile result give us another line of text. This backlash N is also a white space and called a new line, commonly used escape sequence in printf functions that give us another line of text. This time I'm going to delete the second statement or the functions and the arguments left is to be added in this statement. Okay, so we have now hello world, welcome to C. And in the middle, I'm going to insert here a backlash N. and let's see what will be the result of this statement to test it click run and the compile result display hello world with a new sequence of line welcome to C I will add here another line before to C and I'm going to insert here backlash n so to test it just click run and the compile result give us three lines so we have hello world welcome to C another escape sequence we're going to work with is backlash T and this time I'm going to replace backlash N to backlash T and before backlash N to C I'm going to insert a backlash T and let's see the result just click run okay so we have here hello world with a tab before the welcome and another line to C backlash T indicates horizontal tab that gives us tab when we're going to insert a backlash t before the text another escape sequence we're going to work with is backlash b and then i'm going to replace it here backlash b and in the other side also to backlash b and let's see what will be the result of this backlash b to check it click run okay so we have here the compile result that give as hello world welcome to see display in vertical tab so backlash b indicate vertical tabs those are some common escape sequence and we're going to use this later on also kindly take up this time to like this video subscribe my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates thank you